stage with a, a Razor pickup. Yep. And now it's like, if Liquid does want to throw, like they have before, like my control DK off lane, then there's a Razor there. Sounds yeah, not so fun. They would have fight the Razor lane, they have to send supports at this point. Yeah. They have done that. I mean, they have sacked him before in the past. Just like, whatever. Yeah, if they I, th I think I've seen that. that exact DK versus Razor before. I think he's done DK versus Razor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think he has. And it's like he got heavily out farm, but he still got like maybe 10 CS at five minutes or something and got and a small ring. They made rotations too. They like ganked like once or twice once you have a couple levels in breathe fire. And Razor's pretty susceptible to early ganks. I just feel like maybe a, that what's, big last pick miracle here. What's, yeah, that, what's, what's the miracle got? What's me thinking? What does he want to play is really what it comes down to. <laughs> yeah. Kira's Drow. probably just turning to him like, what do you, what do you want? I, could be. This could is, still be. This could is, still be. It's, it's tricky. Tusk, Ench, these are, and Bat, these are three yeah. very scary heroes to be playing a Drow against. That's true. Um, the do tower diving potential of a Tusk, you can't get away once you're blocked by an eye shot. Bat just dives all over you. I I How, feel like Drow is incredibly rough. Absolutely. How about the Tinker, though, for that control? For the, for the same yeah. reason. Gyro. The yeah. Reasons, or the Gyro. Gyro. Yeah, yeah Gyro DK. I was I was thinking it, but I didn't yeah. say it in time. And they, it actually works well with the um the magic damage thing we we're saying. This hero does an incredible amount of magic damage early on, so you can be boosted by your teammates. And Rubik Gyro, we've got a classic. Rubik Gyro DK, actually, these three, very classic combo. Yep, plenty of popular heroes in here for the players that have picked them as well. So uh, comfort on both sides. Which draft do you prefer, though, gods? Which 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 looks the stronger to take I, game one? I. Prefer Navi's draft. Um, I think Liquid as a team is a whole lot stronger, so I'm not gonna go on a limb and say I think Navi's necessarily gonna win this game, but I think their draft is actually slightly better. At least for me, I would I would feel more comfortable playing their draft. Yeah, me too, because I'm 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 in a weird place where where Viper is, but with Liquid being so comfortable on the hero, I probably still I guess you know, lame, but yeah, I'd still probably go with them. I'm gonna go with Liquid, but I like yeah, Navi's draft it. better. Like, see, that makes more sense to me. Like, Fog just doesn't make any sense. Gods is totally right. You can choose Na'Vi's draft. You can still pick the other team. Uh, let's <laughs> let's head into game number one of our second series of the day. Do enjoy this one. I'm sure it's going to be great. Our panel certainly loves the Na'Vi draft. Blitz, are you feeling the same? You like the Na'Vi draft as well? Oh, I'm a huge Na'Vi fan, so I think that. <laughs> I know. I know. You you are all about Na'Vi all day and night. He actually couldn't stop talking about him yesterday. Yeah. 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 So, uh, no, no. I, I actually, like, all jokes aside, I think that I have a draft. Okay. I think that Batrider is a very cool hero in this meta. Yeah. And I think that the more that I see him, uh, the more useful that he gets for me. So you had a lot to say about him. For that. cores and it's Oracle or Venge or anything. Plus feel so low game yeah. that and so you can't really pick those heroes. Like the only other hero that is kind of okay-ish is like you can take like Disruptor or SD but you can't really open those heroes especially if it's a fourth pick bat no. and so you're forced into a position where you have to put more of a spread on cores. Okay, but so in that, this case though, you still like Navi's draft more, despite the fact that you feel like the Batrider is a bit countered by the fact that Team Liquid do have three equal cores in this regard. So what is it about Navi's draft that you're okay with? Uh, I think it's easier for them to move around and get kills. I okay. feel like Dendi should have a very good game in this game. Like, he can play very mobile, and the amount of catch on the side of uh, Liquid is going to be a little bit limited. So for me, when I'm looking at this draft, it's really contingent on how well mind control can do because he's going to be need to be a playmaker for liquid and he has to be very active whereas i feel like it's a bit easier for roger uh to play this game which is why we see <laughs> what a, is this what? gank liquid they smoke up at the bounty rune earlier and we actually have all three of them just sitting on top of me they get the early first blood and they go ahead and tp into the 
safe lane. That what was... a clown. <laughs> I mean, like, you don't really miss anything. I don't think Miracle no, missed no, no. a CS. He, he miss got CS. it. Uh, the funniest part, though, was like, okay, the reason why I think he does that as well is because he knows that the top uh, camp is going to get pulled. Yeah. So he's like, I don't need to be there. Yeah, whatever. He's like, whatever. But the funniest part was like, I don't think they expected that to be uh <laughs> I mean, if they, chat, I thought they thought they were going to get that D. Yeah. If they had the the supports to stop a bat rider, do yeah. you think they like they would have made that kind of yeah, play, right? Yeah, probably. It's, it's the fact that they don't have the way to be able to stop this pull, so. I mean, it's gyro's okay because if you flak hit or if you rocket brush, no matter what, you'll get the hits off on the bat rider. Yeah. But there's not enough of kill potential, I think, to scare him because he can always firefly away. And especially on that side of the map, you can just go to the left and you're unclickable. Yeah. When you go over that like little tree bend, everyone knows what I'm talking about there, right? <laughs> GH. Using telekinesis here. I think it's to be dead. locked out by the ice shards. Really good oh, placement what? there from Roger, but unfortunately... He misturned. We did I, not land I don't think it. I don't think it matters. Like, he probably lives, but it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. I, it wouldn't have mattered. GH would have lived there. Because GH got the... Early boots. About that, tell him he's pull back. Roger body blocked heavily here from the top of men, making sure. Oh, oh what a beautiful beast. eye shot! Now, GH may still be able Dude, to get over the cliff, range. but he's barely out of range. Oh, well played. Damn, Roger's so good. And this is why we're seeing Snake on the Enchantress and Roger the top. Oh my god, that was so that's like such quick thinking. Yeah, oh man, I'm I was a like the you smile on it. I'm a big fan of that. That was cool. There was like the outplay on outplay on it. Yeah, that was like yeah, the yeah, third yeah. level. First liquid outplays him by getting the body blocks and all that for nothing. And then he knows that the TP range, the Rubik doesn't have the range for that. Oh, that was cool. Pretty high level Dota. Yeah. Going Plus on he here. blocked First the Viper in so he could get the, the chase. Roger's such a beast. Remember his Kunkka at uh, Dreamhack? Like he solo won Navi the game. Yep. Yeah. Guy's a monster. Top lane. They're actually trying for it with the Enchantress now. The Witch Doctor does cause some issues for any Enchantress gank with a paralyzing cast. Nice play from Sineko, just denying his own creep, making sure Miracle doesn't get any bounty out of that. Yeah. And Navi is one of those teams that like plays the double four or something similar to that, anyways. Yeah, yeah it's just heavy double dead. boning. But Top of Man is not going to be uh, living for long. I like the fact that we did play that pretty far back on the SF, just making sure we weren't going to trade that out. Yeah go one for one. You could definitely see that uh, the Tumba Man wanted to make that trade out. Yeah, he knew his life was over at that point. You might as well go for it, but... Uh, speaking more about Liquid, I think that Gyro's having an okay game. Like, it's harder for him to die as well. Like, decent stats. He already has 10 magic stick charges. I don't know if uh, Navi makes any sort of play up there. And they're still doing a decent job of limiting the amount of CS that uh, Dendi's having. It doesn't matter as much, though, because Viper is known as a lane dominator, whereas SF is a hero that flash farms just Especially in this meta, very, very quickly. And yeah, it feels like uh, we actually were talking about SF. We both both kind of felt like the uh, the hero is incredibly strong, particularly in pubs, but even in pro games, we see the uh, the strength of the hero just always being able to farm, can go into late game really well, has multiple very versatile builds to be able to employ depending on uh, what the game requires. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a stretch to say that I think Liquid's the better team, but when when people said like look was the better team but they like Navi's draft like Navi's draft seems to fulfill like the basics of yeah. what's needed in a good draft. Like, they have good lane shove, they have good team fight, they have the ability to scale, uh, they have good uh, playmaking. I think uh Seneko, I'm not wrong there, he threw both rock shards, right? Yeah. At the same time. That that doubling up may have actually cost oh, the kill of a man but again. They're gonna yeah. get the GH as well. He's gonna die as well. Yeah. He's trying to give it to Dendi. Yeah. Nice. They won the dual lane. It's like a think though. It's hard to kill Miracle. Like, he's got a bunch of stick charges. You're yeah. not going to commit to it. He's just going to get rocket off and run away anyways. Yeah. He's actually going uh, no levels of black cannon here and just all in on that laning phase presence of the uh, rocket barrage as well as the missiles. <laughs> Four <laughs> stones. Four stones being thrown down. T. Wait, what was the, what was it like? And then cast the first. He who Let would he who would, yeah, without that's it. Cast the first stone. Well, he cast a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> He's an absolute flawless player, apparently. Is there any stacks in Ancients for Liquid? None for Na'Vi. Liquid? None. Okay. I mean, the supports have been too big, it seems yeah. like. Uh, with this double roaming pressure coming out from Na'Vi, combined with the fact that they have very strong laners between the Batrider, Razor, and the SF. 
Uh, this is just seeming like a struggle for Liquid to keep up the laning phase. I think that's... It's it's difficult because normally when you have this dual lane mid, especially when you're on Dire side, it's very easy to stack the Ancients. Mm -hmm. And you have a bunch of heroes that can clear them. The Jackpot Copter can do it, the DK can do it. Um, Viper so is actually not terrible at doing it either. Yeah, I mean, you just get your passive. Or not your passive, uh, the new Nether Toxin, yeah. But the fact that they weren't able to stack at all is a little bit concerning for me. They're gonna get an easy kill here on the Enchantress, and they do have the missile onto General as well, so they can still pursue with a Maledict. They can get some decent damage on him, but uh, certainly not uh, enough to really threaten him. He's getting a little bit low. Yeah, maybe. GH just keeps on laying onto him, and it looks like that Fate Bolt was gonna be enough. At the same time, though, they killed Matumba Man again. I know Matumba Man, Sacrificial Core, and all that. We talked a lot about that for Team Liquid winning TI. That was a big part of their play style, but. It feels like, especially on a Viper, you, you can't be sacrificed this much, right? Dude, I'm looking right now at a level 7 Razor versus a level 4 DK. <laughs> it's, it's so rough. It's rough out there. All right, how do you live here, Roger? All right, he snowballs onto GH, trying to get a little bit farther away from the top of man. He does have the backup Sineko actually blocking GH in long enough for Endy to be able to come up and clean up that kill. Not only does he live, he manages to get a kill. This on Liquid. It's really rough. And they can leave. This one on one, like Crystalis can't die in this. He's got a thousand HP. Even if both supports rotate, and I don't think they can get the kill on him. And they realize that, so they're playing very greedy on the opposite sides of the map. They're putting a lot of pressure on the safe lane. They're putting a lot of pressure on mid, uh, because they know that this is a dead hero for them. Like this is a hero that doesn't require help. On top of that, he can't die. So it's an ideal situation for them. Whereas well, this gyrocopter needs help. You've routinely told me that in this patch, if you lose all three lanes, it's like all but guaranteed that you pretty much lose the game here. How does Liquid come back in this? Particularly since it's not it's not like they're they're it's greedy in the fact that they have three different cores that all need to scale, but it's not like they have a hard carry, right? Uh I mean I think Gyro is gonna be a beast in this game. Okay. They just don't have a save for him. And the more that the other two lanes get slowed down, it kinda just hurts your overall game flow, right? Tell the man, beautiful body blocking here from Roger, plus the ensnare coming out from the enchanter. The Still not gonna be enough though, as the a tough man is gonna be able to live through that barely. Denny's actually gonna have the paralyzing cast bounce back. To him and Miracle no, closing the distance there. They even got the extra poison out from Matumba Man. Make sure to slow him down. Double kill from Miracle. What a good rotation. They needed something like that because this laning phase was not going so hot for Liquid. Yeah. They needed something to offset all of that. That's so unlucky. Did you see that? Like if the cast yeah, I did. goes to the and he's like <laughs> half a pixel away, then SF doesn't die there. Yeah. Uh, I was actually gonna say, believe it or not, that I think Liquid does this weird thing where when they know they're behind, they just fight man. Yeah, because that's the bread and butter, right? Just they out, just out, out of fight, 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 the way that they make these comebacks often, like when you historically think about them, it's because they're willing to five man before a lot of other teams are. Yeah, even when they were running like the, these, uh, like here in this game, they already have such big team fight heroes that they would have even more incentive to five man. But they would do that kind of five man with like heroes like Lone Druid at mm -hmm. 10 minutes in, and you were just like, that hero's not supposed to do that, but they would do it anyway. Yeah, that's oftentimes the way back in as. Uh, this is all looking so good, but. Telekinesis top back really slowed down that damage on him a top man. And it looks like he had a lot of more charges. <laughs> that cast keep goes over. <laughs> oh, and Deja Vu. Apparently we're going to have another snowball into the mid lane, but this one looks a little bit better for Nami. They shouldn't have any troubles just being able to kill Kuro as they've already killed a top of man, and there's no rotations coming out of like Liquid. So Nami strike back in the mid lane. Do we, get a, do we get a replay of, the, of that one? Can we just keep going back? We just keep going replay. And then fresh snowballs. Eventually we'll catch up. <laughs> this bottom tower though is going to get taken. General is hoping to be able to uh, snag the Dragonite. But at the same time, they've left mid. Miracle knows that. He's been waiting this whole entire time to wrap around behind them. They're going to have the opportunity to get that call down now. Dandy taking a lot of magic damage already. He's extremely slowed down. Does have the Maledict going. on him, so he should end up dying here. Kill ends up going to Kuro. Now so there's five heroes mid for... Liquid again. Yeah, and they brought Mind Control, who uh, still had his Dragon form, so despite being denied that safe lane tower, he's going to get an even more important one, mid-tier one. Yeah, that's massive. And Na'Vi, I mean, they over-rotated and kind of thought themselves there, but uh, this is often how Liquid comes back into these games, is like these improbable uh, five-mans where you just don't expect it. Mm -hmm. They do it a lot faster than some teams. 
and it just kind of keeps you off your pace. Because Navi, uh, the thing about them and what keeps them like this is they're amazing. Yeah. I have a time man gonna die. Beautiful setup once Roger, again. Man, the patience there. Just yeah. holding on to the invis, knowing he was gonna get into some sort of clutch scenario. Yeah. They're still getting kills though on the other side. And yeah. this gyrocopter is getting really farmed. Like, if it wasn't for that, 6 0 2 right now, if it wasn't for that, like, Navi would be winning this game. But they're. They're just like consistently committing him to fights, and Miracle's reading the situation. Okay, so this is the mid-time that he died. If he dies again, like, oh, you're in the replay. <laughs> She's so sad. Is it? Is is there something besides the over rotation? Is there something else that Navi's doing wrong? Uh, uh, because they they should have had a bit of an advantage from their laning phase win. Are they just not? Is it they just not reading the fact that Liquid is winning? Liquid's going for these five mans. Man. Oh. <laughs> Did he actually just push himself a little bit farther with the ice shards? No. Man, that's brilliant. Girl's gonna go down as look again. Like they, it's the fact that they're willing to commit all three cores to one area yeah. and not be zone. And so Navi is consistently just getting picked off. As Rod, all right, he's really good at that, but that time he didn't matter. <laughs> Then they still have the playmaking supports. Yeah. It seems so even though they're showing three cores in one lane, they can still actually do something with their two supports. It's like that's kind of the power of liquid is that all cores are so self-sacrificial. They don't really care about the individual farm that they're willing to show for each other. And Navi's now trying to do that. You notice that SF is in the same lane as Crystallize, but it's just like they're they're like half a beat slower. Yeah. They're trying to read the game right now and they're realizing like, okay, Navi uh, Navi's like, okay, we're actually just getting five mana like crazy and we're blowing our advantage that we had from the laning phase. So now we need to do this, but if you're the team doing it half a second later, then you're usually you're usually losing a hero or two. Yeah, like, you're just actually falling behind. It, it really does seem like uh, pace is a really big important part of the game. Yeah. Once you started getting out of pace, just like nothing, nothing works for you. It just seems like everything turns into disasters. Yeah. So if you look at um, mind control, we talked about how he had to have a good game. Okay. If you notice, uh, and he has to be the trendsetter, right, for his team, the yeah. base setter. So he gets Blink Tiger first, and he's just going to run around trying to set up for kills. Uh, they didn't really have an initiator on their team. It's kind of awkward, this uh, tricore setup that we keep on seeing in Dota, but if you can turn a hero like Dragonite into an initiator for him, yeah. I so guess that works. For Navi to kind of like be cleaner in this game right now, they have to be prepared for this like liquid aggression. Because the two ways I think to deal with a team like Navi is you either have to match their pace, or like Complexity does, for example. Yeah. Or yeah. you have to flat out avoid fights at all costs, like, and you just split them around the map. Repeat. Okay. Does Does Liquid keep on staying the five man if they see Navi doing the same thing, right? Like, do they then switch it up? Like, um, okay, now we're gonna play a little bit more split push now that you're trying to five man, or do you think they just fight with this kind of lineup? It feels like they should just fight, for Navi right? or Liquid. For Liquid, I think Liquid just keeps fighting. You're, you have a Viper that has nothing. You have to commit to something. They're gonna pop the Glyph here, see if Liquid make this rotation to save their mid tier 1 tower, or if they just keep on going for this push. It looks like they've got They have a ward behind the tower, they should go. They should all in for this tower. And I, if I'm Liquid, I would try to fight this one. Nami's already gonna find the initiation. They're gonna try and get an easy kill on the GH before the rest of Liquid can be here. But it takes a little while, and now my control is here. Looking for the opening, unable to get it off to the end. Set a little bit farther down. We do a curl lane, a lot of damage into that Razor. Crystallize, he's definitely going down, especially with the homing missile chasing him down. Should be enough to be able to get that kill. That rider is able to fly over the, the river and keep himself alive. Our SF did not go down. That perilous situation up against Dragonite, but neither did Mind Control. So in the end, Liquid do end up defending their tower pretty well and netting themselves a great team fight. Yeah, that's a tower that you absolutely don't. Uh, it's like a it's a weird decision making process because I'm okay with both sides, like the move that they made. Yeah, Navi has a ward behind the tower. They only see GH there. That's a fight that they commit for. But at the same time, they're not as strong in the five man department, and so Liquid knows that, and they're going to take advantage of that and take the fight anyways. Right. So it's it's complicated in that regard. You know what's really cool about this Dragonite before I keep on saying is that every single time Mind Control is the one who keeps on pushing the towers, and he'll be the, the one person who TPs to defend while the yeah. rest of his team actually makes the rotation. So he's simultaneously threatening the side lane while still being able to use that Dragon for the team fight. <laughs> Roger, nice, no. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Alright, so like for every cool shards that I see him hit, I see him hit one of those. Up here, but that is definitely been spotted. Yeah, that would have been surprised. Liquid, uh, 
don't have a, a sentry to deal with this one. But Navi, I think they just avoid, right? Yeah. You shouldn't get caught by this. Away. Just run to the south side of the map. Like go play on your high ground in yeah. the jungle area. If they run into you, then be pretty surprised if Navi. That'd be really greedy if they died to this. Yeah. Like they should just get on their own high ground and chill. Which is exactly what they're gonna do. So good discipline. And now Liquid, they're still smoked out. You're speaking a little bit too soon. Nah, they should know for sure. Like, look at Roger. His yeah, positioning's I mean, perfect. They, and they also know the, the smoke is worn out. They're actually going to smoke themselves here and see if they can actually contest next to their shrine. Is their shrine activatable? Could be a really good fight. Okay, it's not. But still, up. they can get the initiative yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Right as Liquid's breaking up hard. They're going to go for the Viper first. A tough kill to get immediately. But they do have the pure damage coming out from Seneco and then heavy physical damage out for the Razor. GH is also going to be dying on the side as he attempted to keep on pushing out that top lane. Meaning he will be another victim to Navi's smoke gank. Very successful one at that. Navi can turn it into a mid tower push. Now you get the tower for free. It's very nice. Then he doesn't have the Yule Scepter quite, so it doesn't get uh, the setup. But Navi read that very well. Obviously, they saw the smoke. They thought about the decision making process. They thought to themselves, okay, we're a little bit too late to take this fight, but what if we meet and surprise them? They were a little bit faster than Liquid. And for like, feels like the ninth time they've killed poor Matamath Mint. <laughs> how much? How many deaths does Finnish boy have? Oh my Zero god, six. Zero six and six. Oh no. I like the fact that he's got a Helmet Dominator. That certainly has got to help him it out It makes him look bit. slightly more rich. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was well, I was thinking of the fact that he could be like, ah, you killed me, but my neutral creep is still farming. As long as the neutral is pushing out the wave. <laughs> you guys know me in pushing out waves. Yeah, it's an ideal. It's an ideal situation. The wolf lives on. That's so sad. Cause you're viper. Like, what are you supposed to do to come back? Yeah, there's not a whole lot this hero can do. I'd like to see both teams. I think the first Roshan will matter a lot for, especially Liquid, because if you get it on the gyrocopter, we talked about how now gyro is a is really like if viper wasn't 0 and 6, then it would be a lot more complicated for Navi to play this game. Yeah, we're talking about a core game is pretty much Miracle of Mind Control yeah. against the world, right? Like, there's no Matumba Man in this Matumba equation. Matumba Man does not exist. Matumba Man is the frontline, like, the, right, the guy just who take just it dies. Again, Doug. Yeah, like, he poisons everyone by dying first. Yeah, dude. Matumba Man's like, haha, you've activated my trap card. <laughs> Corrosive <died> skin. <laughs> you fools, your blinks are disabled. <laughs> this is what I wanted. So in that system. case, if Navi's perspective on a team fight, they shouldn't activate that trap card, right? We should be looking for General to to grab somebody else. Yeah, like all jokes aside, like they should be trying to go onto this gyrocopter, because, and that's why you saw Miracle build something more defensive, because when you go for the initial jump as a bat rider, and if Miracle's faster, and this is what Miracle's known for, right? Yeah. Reaction time. Place. If he gets the hurricane peg off on the bat rider as he comes in, the fight's blown wide open. Yeah, you're completely screwed. Yeah, you're your actually. Is, the fight is pretty much over. Navi has to disengage at that point. So he goes for an item like that, which shows you that he understands uh, how this game has kind of switched a little. But why? But why that as opposed to like say uh, a BKB, where it would still kind of be the same purpose, where uh, he may be grabbed, but they're not going to be able to burst him. Down. I think. They, I think. They kill. With oh, like really? Enchantress? Like, just like Chuck? Uh, I guess I got the pure damage, yeah. Yeah, they, they're gonna do a lot. Yeah. I was just thinking SF is primarily magic right now, and Razor's damage is obviously slow. Yeah, though. they still do a lot uh, of right click. Plus, I think Miracle's just like cool outplay territory. Yeah. You know? Do you ever have those players when you were coaching? You just like, that's who they were, and and you wanted to, like you you guys just had to encourage that in a way. Yeah, it's like Weeha. He's just, you know, Weeha was gonna be Weeha no matter what. Mm. And at, we used to butt heads over that a lot, but it wasn't ever a bad thing. Who else was? Oh, mind control used to be like that too. Oh yeah. Yeah, you would get in arguments with him, but like, in a constructive way, because he only ever wanted to get better at Dota. This is a bit different. Great power of the Enchantress support. Easy pushing power. Just being able to steal the enemy siege wagon. That's a really nice tower for the crowd. 
because they're just getting traded out anyways. Yeah. Move between bottom. So. And, they're, and they're doing it with the support so their cores can go into farming things. Or in this case, looks like maybe Roshan. They're also TPing back the same time. That Roshan is really important for Navi to force. They are really they trying should. for it. Yeah, we talked about how uh, this gyrocopter needs it really bad. Like for Liquid to not get a hold of this, they don't have enough initiation. It's like they even have to hurry the hell up. Yeah, they need a 3k. He's doing the shadow race thing. He's got nine stacks dead. Liquid is almost there. They've got a haste rune on Miracle. Oh no. This SF has Arcane Rune. He's going to kill it disastrous. Fast. They've already lost the Enchantress, but it's a sacrificial death to make sure they do manage to pick up the Aegis. Crystallize does have the four staff up in time to be able to get out of the pit. Liquid are not going to be able to find that uh, big team fight that they're hoping for. Arcane Rune SF. Oh. So I guess nobody wins. <laughs> now it's just me and you. Everyone DC. Okay, now everyone's back in. At least we get to see everything. So we're gonna get a replay of. Unless so it was. Off. He did have Arcane Rune. I was like, how's he. Yeah, he was just raise, 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 yeah. That's the cool thing about this, like, magic SF, though. Yeah. It's like, always scale. Oh. It's pretty interesting how, uh, over the last, like, year and a half, two years, had these, uh, magic damage scaling into late games so well. Yeah, like, you the know, it used to be, it was kind of like the, the thing about Dota, right, is that, like, magic damage just won't scale as well until... It's more like, if you have heroes that can play mobile enough, then you can do it. Yeah. Oof, this was the... And that all started... Do you think it was at the start of uh, Lena? Uh, Lena was pretty cool. Because I feel like that was the first, like, really big magic damage carry that was, like, super mobile. Like... If you had asked me, like, three years ago, like, what hero would I see? I would not say Lena. <laughs> Wait, yeah. did Lena come before or after the Marana uh, Ags thing? Uh, definitely before. Because the Marana... Then the, it was the Marana Ags. Yeah. And then it just, like, it kept evolving there. But if you if, if you think about it, like the core thing that links these heroes is that they they all have like mobility. Like Rana has leap, uh, Lina has incredible boost speed. Is Denny just gonna boost the Aegis? Uh, apparently. How did they know he was here? I saw them running back to mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hot hat. Wow. That's fantastic yeah. for Liquid. They're gonna be really happy about that. Yeah, certainly. Uh, they've got a BKB finish up for the Dragonite. They can actually have like they get enough to pick up. I bet they could go high ground with this dragon. Right? Yeah, that's for Navi. Like that was a really important Aegis. Kill that Shadow Fiend twice in fights would be a little bit hard because you have this one form of lockdown in this DK. And we thought they just managed to take the ropes and get out, but just like they, uh, they still got caught. But yeah, for SF, well, I mean, you just move around at like max boost speed with drums. That counts as mobility too when you're wasted. Yeah, we were having this conversation like, why get Blink? Not that hero. When you're, <laughs> when you're moving maximum in speed. You always have Blink. Well, that Dragonite's really far now. Yeah, he's yeah, become a problem. It's up, man! This is fine. Whatever, man. Joke's on you guys. <laughs> Corrosive skin. <laughs> Just wait till my big brother Miracle hears about this. <laughs> Get him, dude. <laughs> 13 to 15, it is a 3,000 gold lead right now for Liquid, so not really not that big. Do you think that Liquid's lineup outscales Navi? I, I don't think it does. I think it does. I think their I think their tricor is a bit better. Good. Yeah. Okay. Once they get all the items. I guess I was just thinking the the fact I thought SF a little bit better than most of these heroes. They've got Bat Rider who's such good initiation in the late game. And then Enchantress will scale into it as well. I think when it comes to if it's like six everyone six slotted, then maybe Navis. But I don't think it I don't think it doesn't work that. So you feel like the despite losing this Aegis, the pressure is still on Navi to uh Maybe not force this game to a conclusion, but still be on the aggression. I don't know. It's, it's weird, because I think that Batrider is very, very strong in this game. 
Yeah. Like, once he... Is he getting a BKB? He should get a BKB next. Oh, yeah. no. Blink. Initiation. Telekinesis is coming out from They GH. might just go high ground here. You think off like that? Sure. Yeah. Not. They, they don't have Viper, but, like... No offense, but... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the top of Blade yeah, Mail. Blade Mail. I love you, but... <laughs> He's like, now it's not just corrosive yeah. skin. It's Blade Mail as well. You, the, okay, so when... Uh, I'm just saying it right now. Like, if... If you build like that, you... <laughs> you don't like the enemy team. You're not super happy about the direction that this game has gone for your personal goals. <laughs> you are literally just playing for as much damage output for your death as possible. Yeah, it's... Uh, Every five points of damage I take, you will take one. It's like, you know when you know when people try to eat your fries and you just like lick them <laughs> out of spite and you ruin it? I, I don't. Involved. I don't know that because I don't do that. I mean, I don't do that either. But I read some people. <laughs> no, do. I, I know you definitely do. I know you yeah, love so anyways, your fries. I, I read some people that definitely do that. <laughs> and when people do that, you know, it's like you're you're just ruining it, so nobody has a good time. So Are that's you, that's what Tama means. He's looking the proverbial fry. <laughs> come on, man! Like he's died. He has seven deaths. He's only been a part of eight of his team's kills, like, and I think all of those kills that he's been a part of is when, he, like, he gets caught on and the corrosive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowball gonna come out from Roger here, but there is gonna be the call down out from Uth. They actually grab to the gyrocopter. Maybe they can get the damage to burst him down, but they're just not getting it fast enough. They actually get stunned up too much by the oh, teleconference. But a block out from the guy's right. That's beautiful. See if they can run down Miracle here. It's so important for them to lay the damage into it, but Dendi just couldn't get into a position. Mike Control put himself warning. forward to be able to stop that crystallize. He's gonna end up going. You do have GH keeping pace with that blink dagger. Step by step, Roger finally does end up going down. And Sineko drops as well from the Matumba Man, but it does allow Dendi to be able to escape. I need a replay of that for sure. That was uh, really frantic. I thought that all of the plays team fight was going to win that fight almost assured. They got Liquid quite low. Liquid had used a lot of their escapes. Like Miracle had committed already to the force, and they shrined to full. Yeah. So all of Liquid was like half HP, or what looked like it. And it looked like Navi was just going to crush that fight. I think one big thing is I noticed Mind Control, I'm not sure if he blinked or if he was just able to run over, but he, when we had that Ice Shards blocking a Miracle, he put himself on that SR. Okay. And he even had stunned him, taking away a lot of their damage. They're going to oh, be able no. to fight General here. This is now potentially Navi crumbling as they're going to lose their Tier 3 and are still going to have to take a 4 versus 5 if they want to protect their racks, and it just doesn't seem possible. Yeah, I'm... So, at this point, I mean, Liquid is in a pretty dominant position. If you can win fights like that with Matama Man, like, kind of edges of himself into that fight, he's like, hello, guys, still here. But <laughs> he's still viable. But the funny thing is they're just ignoring him now. <laughs> These fights, they're just all in on Miracle. Yeah. And the fact that they couldn't kill Miracle was the big problem. If you kill Miracle there, then the fight probably looks a little bit different. Hey, he's so stats envy, too. Look at him set, sitting at 2k HP without having strength treads on, which I'm sure... He's almost got, swap, he'll have man. BKB now for the next fight too. And yeah. at that point, he's very, very strong. So they have to get a really good initiation from that bat rider and isolate that gyrocopter, potentially get chain stun in there as well. What is what is the razor cap? I don't know. He needs BKB so bad. You saw in that fight, like he got blown up, he got stunned, and I think the majority of the the death ward was on him. Yeah during that time period, so your hood doesn't do too much there. And Matumba, man. And Matumba. Don't forget him. Forget, never forget him. He Matsu. gave him Viper Strike. Yeah, he's... I was about to say, I was like, I was going to say, do you go, just go to Yags, right? Because well, at this honestly, point, like, like just... Be like, as unfun as possible. <laughs> plus, look at that, plus six corrosive skin stats. Yeah, he's going go. to get the plus 100 Viper Strike DPS as well. He's given up on, on right-clicking people. Nether toxin silences. The job. Ever done? He's pivoting, man. Pivot. Just keep pivoting. Oh, dude, look at his score now. Four seven. We can make these jokes because they're winning, but at some point it was pretty sad. Navi made this like conscious effort to only kill him, and Miracle went untouched the entire game, and now Miracle is grown up. He's strong enough now to protect. His eight kills, like, at some point, 
there's like this thing, you know, where you're a mid laner and you die like 10 times where you just don't really care because the amount yeah. of gold that they get is not worth it anymore. It's the it's the five position complex, right? Yeah. It's just like, I, I care. I don't, I want to, I need to rewatch this game because I don't know how the DK caught up either. Remember, mind control was like four levels yeah. behind the Razor. And now he's got like the second most farm on his team. I mean, the big thing is the Razor can't stay in a lane forever, right? Yeah. So he had to rotate out as soon as he did. I mind control just kept control. moving around every yeah. time he had uh, DK more. Oh, here's the jump. Oh, the jump. Hey, 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 they're going to only lose to that in ultimate. It's so much damage. They've almost brought down Miracle, but still not enough. Now he gets on the BKB and all that magic damage. It's going to be for not Miracle's on stop in this team fight with just half HP they can't turn on him can't put any physical damage onto him they take down two they only pick up the Rubik there and now they find extra initiation they manage to jump onto the bat rider miracle chasing him down with the rocket oh, barrage cats. the cast just keeps on bouncing beyond godlike triple goal through miracle Let's see if they can make it quad kill mind control takes that one but Navi on the back foot they're gonna call GG 29 minutes into the game, 16k gold lead is what Liquid ends with, 25 to 14. But fairly short game. I mean, it looked a little bit weird. What happened to that? Yeah.